Coming up now, the very latest news from Pattaya and Thailand via the fabulous Pattaya Media Group. Please like and subscribe. It helps us and it helps you too. Internet issues across Asia, including Thailand recently, are being attributed to damage done to under-ocean cables in the Red Sea, which you've seen your and my clicks in viewing rerouted, and as the results slowed down. Net speeds for many have been sluggish, and that may take some time to resolve. Meanwhile, 10 o'clock last night saw numerous social media sites, including Facebook, knocked out due to issues with their servers. Resolve now, and anyone who sent documents or messages after 10 o'clock last night Thai time is advised to check with the recipients that it went through. Yesterday saw Bangkok police unravelling the cause of a street battle between ladyboys in the city. Word is that in Soy 11 on the Sukhumwe, 20 Filipino transvestites fought with a growing crowd of Thais over similar persuasion. This overclaims that the allegedly illegal immigrants were pinching customers. More and more locals joined in the fight, which was, to say the least, vicious. Police broke them up and hauled all off to the local police station, where hundreds more gathered after a rally call over social media. Lumpini police are liaising with immigration to resolve claims that the Filipinos were here without visas. And one thing's for sure, in their occupation, they won't have work permits. If anything, this is a reminder that despite the dress and makeup, these aren't the crowd to mess with. The Housing Finance Association has gone on record this week with a report that upwards of 50% of mortgage applications have been rejected as finance institutions tighten their belt and regulations following an elongated period of increased loan defaults. Only a few years ago, borrowers were able to source loans in excess of selling prices thanks in many cases to brokers who hike prices to cover fees and even furniture, and leaving the lenders with, in some cases, 125% loans of value. Banks and other lenders, according to the report, are reviewing the actual cost of living year and reviewing credit records, which in the past failed to list all debts or defaults. And it's expected that real property value assessments, along with higher down payments, will be the norm very soon. Earlier in the week, we reported on a British man arrested in Suratani and charged with drug getting on Koh Tao. 36-year-old John Brett, married to a local woman with an infant child, faces a life sentence now that his case has been processed. And, as reported, he had been under surveillance for half a year by police, determined not only to nab him but also his suppliers and possible customers. It seems that Brett, who has other family members living in Thailand, claims to be a part owner in a bar and was recorded daily as selling drugs. This as he admitted that all the ecstasy pills and LSD found on him belong to him. That confession will see a speedy trial, but he remains in custody until that time. In Nakhon Nachasima, a hotel cook has handed himself into police after he shot and wounded a mall security guard at the weekend. Facing charges of attempted murder, the 30-year-old claims that he shot the man after he had reported the cook as being drunk at work, seeing him lose his job. And when Klong Toy police arrested an illegal gun dealer following a tip-off, they found 2,500 gun cartridges in his truck. That alone would see him jailed for a long time, but a check on his home revealed nearly 32,000 more. Setting them online, police waited as he took his latest batch of orders to a parcel delivery centre. According to police, he seems happy to assist them in their inquiries, in the hope of a lighter sentence, and in addition to claiming that he earned over 100,000 baht a month, he's likely to hand over a full list of his buyers and suppliers. Meanwhile, Toman in Patia, wily cops jumped an errant 32-year-old Russian man who hung over the ledge of an eighth-floor rooftop yesterday threatening to jump. With an inflated lifesaver set up below him, he still refused to come down from the ledge, where he was reported as being intoxicated with something or other. As the cushion was inflated, others encouraged him to calm down and even have a cigarette away from the edge until one officer jumped him, restraining him and dragging him to safety. Now in custody, he's receiving medical checks and his embassy has been informed. The British man accused of throwing a glass at a woman in Jomp GM after she petted local dogs, which annoyed him by barking 
handed himself into police yesterday. The 60-year-old admitted throwing the glass, claiming that he'd done so under the influence of medication, and he apologised. It's likely the charges will be dropped, as he forked out a reportedly proportionate amount of compensation to the woman. He told the press that he had no recollection of the incident due to the medicine he'd taken. And a 4.30 in the morning call to emergency services saw them giving treatment to a drunk Indian who, we're told, was partying in a small condo when he wanted to use the toilet. Losing his bearings, according to his pals, he went left, not right, and instead of entering the bathroom, flipped over the balcony of a six-floor room. Lucky for him. Just one floor below was a rooftop extending further than his fall. Injuries saw him hospitalised, and the reminders out that flying while drunk in Thailand is a crime here too. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 32 dropping down to 28, a partially sunny day but with the guarantee of humidity and the real feel of 38. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.